What's up, Tutorinos? Welcome back to another episode of Game Addicts Play Mass Effect 2. Last time we got Garrus and Morden. Well, Archangel, who turned out to be Garrus. But you know what I mean. Garrus is back, and we're gonna go, and we're gonna, we're, we're we are gonna recruit somebody else. But we gotta head out, and we gotta, you know, Captain Anderson or Counselor Anderson, as we named him in the last game. He asked us to come by. So that's what we're gonna do. We can finally leave Omega. We'll be back to Omega. There's something to do on Omega a little bit later. So, like, all of the, um, you know, I got something to go back there and hand over to Arya. I'll give that to her later. It'll be no big. Ah, no, not this relay. All right. Uh, Citadel. Right, who are we gonna take with us? Okay, wait. So we I have an appearance mod for Garrus. I can fix his outfit. Believe it messed up though. We'll bring Garrus and Miranda. Oh, I got three points that I could spend. And what do I want to put it on? I think I'm actually gonna work on and max out this one. Garrus has got overload and concussive shot. I want to get him set up on overload. Uh, overload. That way his overload is pretty powerful. She's got overload two. And that's the same strength. So, yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, okay. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneak in Iran? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about? Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. Uh -huh. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware? It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time. 
before Hawk killed him. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda, the best hacker and entryman I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad, something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. Wow. That information got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Ah! I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought... You humans are all racist. Ah! Can I help you, sir? It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. Do you think a Geth would stand out? Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Thanks for your time. Next! Dang it! I went to go talk to Garrus about something here, and then, of course, it activated her for some reason, so... Or their conversation. The Destiny Ascension has completed its 20 colony victory cruise. Council members aboard thanked human alliance soldiers for their efforts in repelling Saren's invasion two years ago. Huh. The good old Destiny Ascension. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight! Every five seconds, the main gun of an Empress-class dreadnought accelerates 1 to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38-kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the City Buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, Serviceman <laughs> Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot! Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets, that is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes, sir. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an ever- I thought there'd be more, but I guess not. Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Yeah. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. 
Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're dead. Well, I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's Thank just you. past the scanners on your right. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. But you're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Yeah. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the Station Security Administration to reactivate your IDs. Then to Customs and Immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. No, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't the Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. <laughs> Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the Council's rulebook. CSEC has changed. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course. They fixed that first. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. I need to talk to the Council. How can I get to the Presidium from here? Uh the Head through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I should be going. You need anything else, let me know. So Captain Bailey, the voice actor that plays him, is actually in Battlestar Galactica. And he's one of the few, uh, you know, sci-fi legends, or cameos that we have here in Mass Effect 2. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and 17 days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. There seem to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. 
How charmingly fascist. <laughs> Sounds like a police state to me. That topic is beyond the scope of my programming. <laughs> uh, okay. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. They've suppressed information about the Reapers. Far easier to blame the Geth, a known enemy. What stores are available on this level? Only one store exists on this level. Citadel Souvenirs offers licensed mementos of your visit. Their line of Starship models is well regarded. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Uh huh. Shepard, are you looking to continue your education? It's Maybe. one thing to know how to shoot a gun, but do you have the career skills to deploy and manage today's high tech network infrastructures? The Henley Technical Institute can help. Courses available through our extranet site will put you on the path to success. Visit our site now at keywords Henley Technical Education. Shepard, it's been two years since you had a job. Isn't it time you rectified that? Exciting opportunities await Alliance citizens like you on the Outworld Colony. That looks like the lady from the security. Search colonists are being recruited for Exogeny Corporation's Pharos facility. Visit your local colonial administration office to sign up. Exogeny on Pharos. It seems like you're always on the run, Shepard. If you're not going off the nav beacons to visit the Corian migrant fleet, you're exploring the dangerous wreckage on Corliss. But when was the last time you stopped to eat? <laughs> <laughs> this began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But Saren won't stop there. His Geth aren't going to stay on the fringes of Citadel space. Abandon the Citadel! Evacuate the Council! The Citadel's closing! They're sealing the station! Is surrender not preferable to extinction? Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance! This summer, humanity earns its place among the stars. Citadel, a film by Risa Uferson, presented by Abridged Eye Films. They made a movie about the first game. All right. The attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress has generated a swift but confused response. Aid vessels have been sent, but it is not clear whether there are survivors. The Council offered its sympathy, but regretted that it could not become involved in a purely human matter. Of course it couldn't. Love that phrase though, purely human matter. Those and those advertisements are absolutely hilarious. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. With our Unification Day special, you can get up to two thousand credits back. Such a deal. Yeah. Could I interest you in a Turian Esquerin sporting shuttle? Unmatched acceleration, peerless maneuvering, and like all Turian shuttles, it can fit a light mass accelerator cannon. Perfect for heavy traffic. <laughs> <laughs> you ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. Ramen, huh? What can I get you? Mm, the meat isn't fresh out here, but you won't find any better dried seaweed on the station. <laughs> yes. Nostalgic melancholy. Alas, <laughs> poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. A fellow of infinite jest. Of most excellent fancy. Deep accusation. Where be your jibes now? Your gambles. Your songs. Your flashes of merriment that were wont to set the table on a roar. And don't 
never forget to catch Elcor Hamlet live. An unforgettable 14 hour experience. <laughs> <laughs> Insincere endorsement. I love it. This Clanless is a thief. What? And I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not. Just because I'm a Quarian. I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan, <laughs> just because the Vault Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her, but she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. You say she stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running India mean she stole your credit chip? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with CSEC and accuses me of stealing his damn chit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Do you spend a lot of time at the used chip dealer? Yeah. They've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. You know about the pilgrimage? I traveled with a Quarian who was on hers. I... Wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we... Bah. All we can to resolve <laughs> this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. I just got a refund in exchange, and I was told to pick up a new Omni Jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. So the guy that couldn't get his refund in the first game is this guy. And in lieu of a refund, they're letting him exchange it. And this guy has no idea. Like, like you got the wrong place. <laughs> Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation Outlet on Zakira Ward. Yeah. A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? And not that I saw. He didn't purchase anything. Tell me about your store. The Serta Foundation is a human organization known for its genetic therapy regimens and genetically engineered products. Serta is probably best known for the development of Metagel. I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect, the Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know what would make your services more popular? An endorsement from the man who defeated Sarah. Oh my! You're a shepherd, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'll work it into our advertising at once. 
Thank you. So, got a little bit of a discount. Live support weapon, there we go. And meta gel capacity. This is valuable. Yeah, it is. What do you think, Nickel? Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like, good little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? And that's the couple, or now the couple, I guess. Uh, it was the 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 two that were arguing about about the baby uh, from Mass Effect One. I, I love this little stuff that they just sprinkle back in here. The nerve enhancements say that there are occasional motor control side effects. Jake loves to run. What if it makes him fall down? Jake is fine, Rebecca. He's a perfectly healthy toddler. Shepard, we know times are tough. Station records show that you made only zero credit last year. <laughs> Welcome to Sarinus Applications. Can I address you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, <laughs> look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. Avolus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, Tell him I have it here behind the counter. You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point-and-go nav interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, Why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? <laughs> I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speaking to my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> that will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Uh, Thank you so much. I love how you can do that for every store here. Tech damage. Yeah. This looks interesting. And damage protection. Oh, man, I'm about broke. Uh... I've spent all my upfront loan. I felt her hand go into my. Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Saronis Applications. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarium could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it? Now, just a minute! And you? She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy? How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? You think you're going to run in a former Spectre? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. What the hell was that CSEC guy's problem? You had no evidence that you did anything wrong. I don't know. Everyone's been like that since I got here. That sucks. I wish I could do something. I wish it would let me do something to help her out. Now I, now, I didn't buy that 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 damage protection thing because there's another store I want to hit up. It's a weapon store. I want to see what he, what he has. Yeah, 
And I want to go in here. Model. Space hamster. I don't need a... Uh, I don't need a... Uh, a discount for that place. That place is pretty cheap. Ilium Scaldfish. What can I do for you? I thought weapons were restricted on the Citadel now. Carrying them around is. Selling them isn't. We store them in off-site containers and deliver them to your ship. People who have permission to carry, like c -Sec, can walk out with them. Your expeditions might be a little tame for me. Tame? A human can hardly take down a feral Varen, let alone a Shatha. Who do you think you are? Well, my name's Shepard, and... The Shepard? The one that put down Saren Arterius? Yeah. Oh, you do know me. By the spirits. Shepard, in my store. I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Uh... Sure you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite <laughs> store on the Citadel. <laughs> <laughs> no other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. Yeah, you're right. No other gun shop. All right, so we got pistol damage. That's 50. I only have 88. Heavy pistol damage. Submachine gun damage. Offhand ammo pack. We should spare ammo. I might actually have to equip that. Uh, increases health. I guess a vest. <sighs> I will buy that. And I got enough for one. Ah, uh, man. This should come in handy. Well. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. So we're at GameStop now. You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. The battles are pretty realistic, but it's still fun. And you can install it on an Omni tool. For 10 credits, we offer data protection for any game we sell. If the copy protection ever malfunctions, you can download a new copy free. Shepard, you've recently been dead. Don't you deserve <laughs> the quality and distinction of a traditional and burial robe? <laughs> Leave a good look, of course. You've recently been dead. Ah, here we are, our old friend the, the reporter. Want to hear your story, Shepard. Do they? Kalisa have been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. Are we? You're back, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sure you do. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. So that was an opportunity to punch her right in the face. It 
Saving everyone only happens in bits. There will be sacrifices. Being in charge means making sure they lead to the greater objective. That's a reality shared by all soldiers, in command and on the ground. Don't you dare suggest I made that call lightly. I didn't mean to accuse... You're damn right you didn't. I won't let you disrespect anyone who gave their life that day. They're heroes. All of them. They deserve better than you. Commander Shepard. First human specter. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. Yep. Alright. Is there anything to do in here? This is the club. I know you can get plastered. Shepard Shuffle. Keep on going. Else? Hit me again. How about we mix it up? This is genuine Batarian ale, uncut. Don't ask how I got it. And it's green too. I've been serving here eight years. I've never seen anyone have this and stay on their feet. Anything else? Do it. <laughs> okay, for you. Do it. <laughs> Your funeral, pal. Oh, flaring it up. And plop. <laughs> Not poison this time. some more money and come back to the Citadel and get those upgrades. But until then, let's go over there and see our old friend. So we can change squad members, go to the Presidium, head back to the dock. There are two levels. Like, you know, we, we, we went down a level to those other stores. Or we can go, uh, we can go back to that middle level where we were talking to Bailey. So we'll head to the Presidium. No elevators here.
This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the Voice of Humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. You mean Sovereign's Geth. Saren wasn't the one commanding the Geth. It was the Reaper, Sovereign. Ah yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this Council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. I accept your offer. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well... That went better than expected. You realize Whoa. the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Garrus is over there moonwalking. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard, what are you doing here? It's so weird. This whole cutscene is a bit glitched with the eyes and with the whole Garrus moonwalking. Uh, they never did fix it, but it, it's so weird. It, yeah. Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Consul. We just finished our meeting. You what? Consular, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? I'm here because the fate of humanity is at stake. That's what you should care about. All you soldiers think alike. You charge headfirst into a problem with no regard for the long-term consequences. I make the decisions around here, Udina. Your job is to clean up the mess I leave behind. Understand? Of course, Counselor. Given the potential size of this one, I'd better get started. I'll be in my office. Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. 
Udina's just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the Keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. They're here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. What happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Right on. So now, like that was it. Like we, like we don't really have much else to do here. Even if you come back and talk to Anderson again, you're not going to get any more info. Not really. I think maybe after a certain point there might be an additional thing, but it's very minor. So now, we're going to carry on with our mission. Now that we've explored the Citadel, what we could. You know, but you can't go free roaming the, the entire Citadel. That, that would be like an entire game in itself. But, now we're, now we're going to go and continue the recruiting missions. I have a certain method or certain order that I do things. And I try to get so much stuff done. Because there's some things that they kind of shoe, shoehorn you into doing. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. And like at certain times. So like, so like when you... when you, There's a couple of big events, Cerberus missions that you get. That it's like, okay, abandon everything that you're doing. You, you thought you were going to go over there and do that? Nope. Now, like now you're doing this. So... Uh, shield piercing. Uh, yeah, I, there you go. You need to get grant your squad full health. Yes. Also, earlier, it might have been in this episode, or maybe the another one, I thought I, I could use Unity... No, it was the last one. I thought I that I could use unity to heal myself and no you can't you can use it to heal your like your squad uh, but I mean I guess you can use it to heal yourself but only if you have a squad down 
Be, uh, you have to take cover. And I forgot that. You're not dead, Emily Wong. You're alive. How come you broke whatever cover you've been uh, under two years and didn't offer an exclusive interview to your favorite reporter? Whenever you come up for air, and ready to talk, let me know. Nala Butler. Commander Shepard, my husband was one of the men serving on Garrus' team. I don't know how much Garrus talked to you about what happened, and I don't know the specifics myself, only that my husband died in a trap set by those bastard gangs. I know Garrus blames himself. He took every shot fired at his squad as, as a failure on his part, and it was clear when he sent the message uh, about my husband that he thinks it was his fault. My husband, my husband never would have never wanted that. He was proud of the work that he did on Garrus' squad, and he was taking him back Omega from the gangs. He died fighting with honor. I miss him. God, I'd give anything to have him back. But whatever happened there wasn't Garrus' fault. You're his commander now. Please, if you can, help him stop blaming himself. And please don't tell him that I sent you this. Right on. We haven't talked to him yet, but, but we will. So we are going to go. We can uh, help Zaid do that thing. Help Sumi. We're not doing that yet. We are going to recruit the convict. I think after getting the Krogan, I'm going to get locked into doing another mission. I think. So uh, after we get the convict, we may do uh, so some of the other stuff. I, I know I have that Normandy uh, crash site that I can do. I can go probe a little bit. Uh, but I'm not running too low on stuff yet. Ah, uh, you know what? We will bring Garrus. And we have Kasumi. What? You will, you're going to have Overload, Shadow Strike, and Flashbang. Flashbang. I'll bring Miranda for that extra warp. And we're going to have three Overloads running. I want a new submachine gun, dang it. And I'll keep that. You get a good submachine gun with or on Kasumi's um, loyalty mission, so I may have to go do that. That's a fun mission, too, anyway. There's a guard. Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped, and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. No. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kirill, and this is my ship. The weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. It's my standard procedure to keep my gun. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the funds clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to out processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Cell Block 2. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help. So, we'll be forced to release him back onto his homeworld, at an unspecified place and time. 
So it's an extortion racket. You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin, and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually, I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space, and the galaxy is a safer place. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. Let's get on with this. Have you had any escape attempts? We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Our processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. You don't even get good information that way. After a point, victims admit to anything to make the pain stop. Is there something I can do for you? No. No. There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. No. This degrades you as much as him. We have orders. No. You're not important enough to make your own decisions? I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? No. Stop this. For your own sake. Yeah, no. you're right. Call it off. At least for now. Hey! Hey guys, over here! Let me ask you something. If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's gotta be better than this. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. Huh. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. The guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah. Sucks to be Bimmy right now going at it pretty hard. Do they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, your clothes, your pride. I haven't taken a shower in three months. <laughs> I should go. I Wish should I go. could go. Yeah. <laughs> I I should go. I hear the screaming in my head. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Out processing. Out processing's through the door on the far side of the room. Yeah, I'm sure it is. You guys always have the place set up for this wide and open and for cover. Shepherd. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. 
Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. Uh. Go to hell. I'll send you there myself. Activate systems. Enemy Turian! All right. If we hack that control, every door on the cell block opens. It's the only way to get Jack out of cryo. I'm doing it. Be ready. Get down there. Yeah, we do. I'm on it. 
Barrett got swarmed by prisoners with improvised weapons. He never had a chance. It shows you what kind of people these prisoners are. I don't agree with everything they do here, but it's in the galaxy's best interests. This guard can't oh, make the axe away from innocent people. I think we made it through this section.
there. You're valuable, Shepard. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Can you really? Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader, and I don't have time for it. I do the hard things civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. do you want? My name is Shepard, and I'm here to get you off this ship. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. I'm working with Cerberus for now because they can help me. With them? For them? I don't care. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? This ship is going down in flames. We can get you to safety, and we're asking for your help. We could just knock her out and take her. I'd huh. like to see you try. We're not gonna attack her. Good move. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. Join my team and I'll do what I can for you. Don't make promises you can't keep. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. I'll give you full access. Shepard, you're not authorized to do that. Oh, it upsets the cheerleader. Even better. <laughs> you better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move up. Recruited prisoner known as Jack for the team. Purgatory betrayal of Shepard. Unacceptable. Fortunately, I was able to reverse credit transfer. May have to take steps against Blue Suns to demonstrate consequences of interference. Well. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. 
Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. Welcome to the team. So we'll go and spend some research points. Well, we got it. While we're here. Don't use shotguns, but somebody will. Ooh, wait. Another one. Damage protection. There you go. Ah, uh, still that. Alright. That'll do that. Jack's tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper, though. You have worries about Jack? I know she'll be solid under fire, but her attitude suggests deep personal issues. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she understands her own motivations. I wouldn't be surprised if she makes advances on you. If you want her respect, think twice. I'll do my best not to piss her off. Please warn me if you fail. I want a chance to hide. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Take care. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Consort. Shaira. Commander, I thought that my gift of words had been incorrect. An embarrassing notion. Well, my contacts tell me that you survive. I'm pleased to hear that your journey continues. Well, I sense that you head towards an even deeper darkness. When you, when you fought Saren, your only resolve, only your resolve was tested. But now I fear you cannot rely on on your own strength. Take whatever stake, steps that you, take whatever steps that you must to ensure that those battling at your side fight with clear minds and good hearts. Doctor Chloe and Michelle, Commander Shepard, I was relieved to hear that you were alive. I was devastated to hear the destruction of the Normandy and the people who didn't make it off in time. After you went missing and were presumed dead, I feared I'd never see you or Garrus again. You and he did so much to, uh, to help clean up the wards when you were here hunting for Saren. The galaxy needs more people like you, and I'm glad that you're still here to protect those those of us who are grown, who have grown to de to depend on both of you. Is Garrus with you again, by any chance? Uh, after being so happy to hear to hear of your uh, hear of your survival, I wondered if perhaps he might have ended up with you. I left a few messages on his public accounts, but you know how he is about checking his mail. And I don't think about uh, and I don't think the com address I had for him works anymore because he hasn't returned my calls. Anyway, uh, so busy on his grand on his grand crusades, his great passions that he focuses on them uh, to the exclusion of anything and everyone else. Anyway, if you knew where he might be, I'd really love to hear from him. Or both of you could come by the next time that you're, that you're near the Citadel. Uh, can you meet up with her in this game? I, I didn't know that you could. Wait, hold on. Mark that. Uh, we'll head down and talk to Garrus real quick, because we haven't yet. And, you know, I don't, I don't... Did I forget to pick up the food stuff? For for Garrus? I thought I went to all the shops. Or not not for Garrus, I'm sorry, for the mess sergeant. I don't remember. I guess we'll find out. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah. He's taking it pretty hard. How can I help you, Commander? You have everything If you, you happen to find any of those supplies on the list I gave you, it would be much I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Yeah, I guess I didn't pick it up. I'll get it next time I'm there. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. The Thanix Cannon. Turing decide Thanix Cannon. Hell yeah. 
Shepard, need me for something? Have you got any upgrade no. ideas for the Normandy's weapon it. systems? My current upgrades are working pretty well. That's about the best I can do. What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? The weapons upgrades have gone in beautifully. This thing packs a hell of a punch. It just might give us a chance against the Collectors. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. You sure you're okay working with Cerberus? I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? After the Normandy was destroyed, most of us went our separate ways. CSEC asked me back, but I turned them down. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives. CSEC agents. The usual. Had a Solarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but... He could hack any system ever built. What did your Merc Squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. It doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate Merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sedonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sedonis out first? No. I'd put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sedonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of.
Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. What's in them? Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy's gonna be a lot emptier when I'm done. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. I wake up with it. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a king. I could help. You'd be my first mate? <laughs> I'd lead the boarding party and handle the executions. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Sim. I should go. Yep. <laughs> yep. Hey. I picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the collectors? I ran across the schematics for making L5X implants. Still got them in my head. You want to know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. Hey. What do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut loose. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. Ha <laughs> ha! I should go. Yep. Alright. Well, guys. Uh, that's gonna wrap up this episode here. Now that we've gone exploring, we checked out what was left, or what we could explore the Citadel. We got Jack. I'm gonna head up here and see if the fish are okay. Well, I remember one time I bought fish, and by the time I got there, they were all dead. Um, but, uh, no. Uh, Garrus's backstory. I, I wish we could know more about that. Even more. That sounds like such a fun angle and story. And I really like how they deepened his character development. But making that just a personal battle for him, he that, that's a guilt that he takes forward. Of course, we've got the email for that, um, for a little bit of uh, you know dialogue with that to to put some background to it. And then, of course, what he told us, you know, about how he he really wants to get even with Sedona. You know, he wanted to get even with uh, with Doctor Hart too. Oh, hey, the music's still playing. And there, I'm feeding the fish. We got a few more ships along the way, didn't we? Got the original Normandy and a Geth ship. And the uh, Destiny Ascension. Good old music here. Can I turn it off? That's the original, uh, like, Citadel music in some spots, right? Okay, yeah, it's off. Wait. Ah, no. So anyway, guys, uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut this episode off here. Thank you guys for you know you know for checking out this series. If you have, if you watched the first one, please go back and watch the original Mass Effect one. I you know I did that one too, and now I'm doing two, and then I'm gonna carry on right through three. And I might even uh, use this as an, as an opportunity for a second playthrough of Andromeda because I've only done one. But. Uh, yeah, I'm really, you know, I'm really digging uh, playing through Mass Effect 2 again. This is like one of my favorite games of all time. And until next time, I've been Brando. Check out all of our other stuff. Check, check out the podcast. We do the podcast each and every single week. It's right here on YouTube. So do give us a subscribe and follow. Comment along, too. Uh, tell us what you, uh, you know, if, if you've been watching this, tell us what you like about it and everything. Hopefully, I know I don't talk a lot during the action sequences. I'm, I'm usually pretty focused on that. 
and and this it's difficult to do reactionary stuff because I mean I played this game so many times, but uh, I, I'm trying to take a break every now and again and tell you deep dive into more character stuff and uh, you know give my thoughts on it. I'm I'm really really excited to to go further into the game and uh, yeah check us out on all of our other stuff on, on the live stream for the podcast check out the podcast and podcast services uh, you know, that way you can take us with you on your phone you know you know we're everywhere man we're on Spotify. We're on Podbean, Apple, uh, we're on Google Play Music, and then we're on TuneIn and Stitcher and all those podcast services. You know, we talk about video games, and, you know, it's a lot of fun. So, until next time, I've been Brando, and I'll see you guys later. Have a good one, guys. I should go. <laughs>